Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Community United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Stan Cardwell, and we're into our Lenten season of doing this series, By His Wounds, We Are Healed. And today we're going to be looking at another of, of the commandments and how Jesus ratcheted it up. Like last week, we looked at murder and how Jesus connected it to anger. Today, he's going to connect adultery to lust and uh, look at something that's really going to be a difficult thing to talk about, but it's something we need to hear and find healing from. So my encouragement would be to, to stick with it, stay with it, pray about it, and, uh, and see what God's gonna call you to be in about in this season, uh, which is another pandemic in the life of the church, is, is sexual sin. So uh, not gonna be easy. <laughs> I struggle getting this one together, believe me. But it's important for us to engage with it. We are coming up on Holy Week, not too much in the distant future. Palm Sunday is going to be really exciting, both the streaming and also what we do live and in person. And uh, likewise, we're going to have a Monday, Thursday service that's streaming, and you can participate in that as well by coming. And Good Friday, we're going to do, again, the, the fasting all day while Jesus was hanging on the cross, but also the, I'm going to put together a devotion you can watch it any time during the day to engage with uh, what it means to be about God's business on Good Friday. And that leads into Easter then. And uh, well, we've got some really cool stuff. We're going to have a Easter sunrise service at Charlie and Carol Moore's house. They've got a great big backyard that, that leads out and looks out over the water in the bay. And uh, the sun comes up over the horizon. So we're going to have a service out there. You can catch in more information about that on the website. Also, uh, Easter, we're going to do inside worship, um, so we also need to register for that, and then an outdoor worship service at 11 o'clock. So, you know, you know, I'm praying that we can come and celebrate and truly, you know, find Easter a, a blessing in our second season of COVID, and it's really been kind of crazy with all of that stuff. So anyway, you know the drill about the Connect card, about giving, and about, you know, staying connected to us through... Um, giving us your email address so you can get all of our information that we send out weekly. That has all the stuff about Easter in it. So please sign up for that and, uh, and bless us. And if you've got prayer requests, we'd love to pray for, for what you've got going on in the life of the church. So let's pray right now. God, open us up this morning to your presence as we watch this uh, video for Lent. May some of the words just kind of pop off the screen and speak right into our souls. Some things that we've got to work on so that we can come now into your presence to worship you. Uh, even in our homes, Lord God, may wherever we, wherever we are be a sacred space. We set it apart, a space and time for you to work in our hearts. Jesus, do what you need to do to have our worship be filled with life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, see you at the message time. 